I'll take you through my method of how I make uh, my own grain spawn. Um, there's two there's two methods which are quite common on the internet, which you see. And the first one is is where they soak the grain for 12 to 24 hours, uh, then boil it, then dry it out and bag it. Um, I've tried this method and I don't really like it. I, find, I found that if I didn't boil it for long enough or if I boiled it for too long, it would ruin the grain really quickly, uh, the wheat I was using. The second method is where they just put the um, wheat straight into the bag and then add a predetermined amount of water and then straight into the steriliser or the autoclave. Um, I didn't like this method either. I found it gave me um, quite a bit of contamination, con con especially since um, my steriliser only gets up to 7 psi. It's not like an American made pressure cooker, it's a, it's a cheaper one, it's the only ones we can really get in New Zealand and because it doesn't get up to that um, high pressure I have to sterilise for a lot longer, sort of in the range of two hours and um, it just wasn't doing the trick and it wasn't sterilising well enough. So I've made my own way which which, um, which works, I think works really well for me. Um, it's sort of a mixture of both, both it involves cleaning the grain first, getting it nice and clean and then just adding the predetermined amount of water um, and sterilising from there. So I'll take you through it. So the first step is to weigh out the uh, amount of dry grain we need. Today I'm going to make uh, eight bags of spawn and um, that's that's eight bags fits into my pressure cooker nicely and each bag is one kilo, one kilo of dried dried weight. So here I've got um I've got four four point one kg oh, just bumped it four point one kg that one kg is extra is to make up for you can actually see in here you see a lot of this husk so a lot of that comes off. So there's about 25 grams per kilo, which I count for, of this dry stuff filtering out. So I weigh out two of these at 4.1 kilo each, and I put them into this empty stainless steel drum. So we'll go ahead and we'll get that done now. Right, step two. Now that we have uh, eight kgs of, just over eight kgs of dry grain in our stainless steel um, pot here, I'm going to use the hose and I'll give it a good clean. So I'm going to fill this up sort of halfway, five, six, seven, eight times, and really just get all that all that dust and all that um, crap that's on the grain off it. And I'll do this till that water runs pretty clear. You'll watch um, um, as I fill this up and I shake this grain about, we're going to get a lot of contaminant, or a lot of foreign sort of debris float to the surface. So I'll just get this nice and filled, I'll give it a shake up and we'll show you um, what that all looks like. Right, so we've filled it halfway, we've given it a little shake up with our hand and you can actually just see that's all the stuff we're trying to clean off it on top. So that there, we don't want that in our, in our grain spawn. I mean it probably wouldn't make too much of a difference if it was sterilised and in there, but I like to keep my grain spawn just grain. And you actually see if you push that aside, you can see how murky that water gets. And oh, you, you don't know, that could be a lot of... There could be a lot of trichodermospore in there, there could, it could be a whole raft of bacteria that's in there. And um, just cleaning it and getting rid of it is going to decrease the chance of um, contamination when you sterilise it in your, um, in, your, in, in your autoclaves you've got. If you've got a good autoclave it's not going to matter. Um, everything should die if you autoclave it long enough. But um, because mine takes a minimum of two hours and even then, if I do it even for two and a half hours, even now and then I'll get a bit of contamination come through. So really, I'm following a guarantee um, non-contaminated spawn. I should be cooking it for like four hours, but it's I do this inside on the stove, and it's just too um, impractical for me um, having it running for four hours on the stove. It's just it takes a bit too long. So I like to clean my grain really well, and that, and that to me means I can bring that sterilisation time, cut it cut it down a bit further. So we'll get this really clean and we'll show you. So there we have our clean grain spawn there. Now it's not perfectly clean, but you can see I can get my hand now all the way down to the bottom and in there and you can still see it before I put my fingers just below the surface and that'll vanish. So, um, so that's as clean as we'll make it. From here we will completely drain this off and then we will bag up the wet grain and mix water with the uh, wet grain, um, a certain amount of water, and then from there straight into the um, 
Stir loss. Once our grain has um, been drained, um, so it's still wet, it's still wet grain, we've just got all the water out of there, as much as we can. Uh, we're then going to weigh out uh, 1.15 kgs per each bag. Now on here it says slightly more, it's about 1.155. I bump that up to even 1.16 sometimes, just because you can't often get all the grain out of, because it's weird, it kind of sticks to here. But we're aiming to get pretty much, bang on, 1.15 kgs of wet grain per bag. So one kilo of wet grain, when it's wet, it'll weigh about 1.15 kg. So there's about 150 grams of water just sitting around all these husks. So um, so we'll get we'll weigh these out. We'll get them into bags, fill all eight bags, and then from there we'll add how much water we need. Right in here, we've got 652 grams of water. You can see it in there. Now that's 652 because there's probably going to be about 2 grams of water left on the walls of the um, jug when I pour it in. So we're tipping about that much um, into each bag. And there we have it. 8 bags packed into my um, homemade autoclave out of a steriliser. Um, and we'll go put them on the stove for 2.5 hours to ensure they get sterile and then um, let them to cool down for 24 hours and tomorrow we will um, inoculate them.